Hello, I'm Dr. B and welcome to what I, in the past I have referenced as week so-and-so, but now I'm going to start referring to it as episode or blog number 42. Um, I have not been consistently producing a vlog on a weekly basis, so it feels more appropriate to um, just call it vlog, vlog number 42 as opposed to week number 42. Hi, I'm Dr. B. Welcome to Beloved Blackness. Um, for those of you who may be new to Beloved Blackness, this is a form in which I affirm, um, speak into, um, give commentary on the um, uniqueness of who we are as people of African descent. And I coined that by focusing on our belovedness because so much of the impact of oppression and white supremacy domination has been to rupture us from having a clear consciousness of who we are as people of African descent. And part of the return to ourselves, the bringing to um, those pieces together, think of the ligament that's been brought together, that's been ruptured, is being able to anchor ourselves in the dignity, value, worth, um, beauty, um, uh, holistic, um, glorious essence of who we are as people of African descent. So welcome to Beloved Blackness. Um, so here we are still um, in the midst of the coronavirus um, pandemic. And um, there's been so much heartbreak and ache um, over these past um, few weeks as we are living lives of social distance, staying within our homes in order to protect our um, fellow vulnerable community members, as well as um, those we know and don't know who are um, could be susceptible to the virus and becoming ill and even deathly ill from it. And um, this recently this week, you know, the numbers are out that African Americans are disproportionately dying from um, COVID-19 related illnesses. And um, there's so many um, components that go into that in terms of the impact of um, systemic oppression, whether it's being refused to have a test be done, the um, belief that um, people of African descent have a higher pain threshold and so don't need to be treated, um, the lack of health care in terms of insurance and access to care, um, the lack of humane care, even when care is um, given, um, the degree and amount of advocacy that has to be done often by people of African descent is much greater. Um, and all of that is grounded in all of the systems being in place to structure our dehumanization. And um, then policies are made out of seeing us as less than in whatever form or fashion that looks like, whether it's medical care, mental health care, um, dental care, and so education. Um, but in this specific um, piece, I want to kind of speak to this um, this uh, this aspect of who we are as African people that I've seen some iterations of it be expressed in some distorted um, ways over the last few weeks, and that's particular to our sense of ourselves as people as of having a divine um, uh, core of having our faith be at the essence of who we are. And I've spoken many times in terms of that notion that Dr. Nobles uses uses of consubstantiation, that being of the same essence in this African sense of um, at the same, at our essence is our spirit. And that we are aware as African people that um, spirit permeates all of life, all living things. And that um, the essence of who we are in terms of our material Cells is an, only an emanation of that. And so to be able to combine both the mind, the intellect, the heart, the spirit, uh, African cosmology would say all of those things are interrelated, but that the spirit is at the whole, at the core of it. It's like, it's the engine. And so um, even using the word, it doesn't feel proper because spirit is alive and active. And so this idea that um, our faith, belief practices would put us in harm's way in some way, um, as if it's okay because we're people who are collective people and who are communal, who want to connect with others and whose lives are interwoven with one another. Yes, that's the truth. And we have to be careful and take precautions in terms of staying at home that we can't allow 
this um, cultural aspect of who we are to cause us to make foolish decisions or decisions that counter us having a connection between um, our rational um, understanding of things, whether it's grounded in pure science of what we know about COVID, um, or our rational selves in terms of how to take care of ourselves, that intuitive self that says we are worthy of being preserved and we are worthy not just of surviving, but of thriving. And um, so no way am I trying to blame black people for having the highest numbers. That's not what I'm saying, because um, I made that statistic and then started into this. What I'm really wanting to speak to is this part of us that can have, um, can demonstrate at times a blind faith or a faith that says only my spiritual awareness is what's important. And an African sense of ourselves is all of our lived experience is important and that it's the holistic um, experiences that allow for a full manifestation. And even in that, as humans, as persons, that's even limited, you know, because only God, only the creator can be able to understand and see it all. And so um, what I would encourage you to do is to think about times in your life where um, your faith has been holistic, where you have seen it manifest a combination of both heart, mind, spirit, um, that the immaterial came through in the material in some way out of material um, illuminated the immaterial, if you want to put it that way. Um, so spend this next week and think about times where you've seen that complementarity of the mind and the body and the body and the spirit and your heart and mind come together as um, that's not living in a fragmented life, even in terms of seeing ourselves as spiritual people, is not the essence of African, um, of African consciousness. That fragmentation is um, out of a Eurocentric way of um, viewing reality. Um, that our holistic selves, our ancestors believe, you can think about it in terms of the pyramids, that what's at the bottom, what's at the top is only a manifestation of what's at the bottom. And so it's the same way in our personal um, and collective lives. So I encourage you over this next week, I want you to think about what in some ways has the spiritual sense of who you are been, has come through and been emanated in your um, practical lived re reality or experiences where the mind and the heart have come together. All right, so until next episode, um, Dr. B with Beloved Blackness.